In today's health alert, obstructive sleep apnea may soon be treated with a simple once a day pill. This first in class oral drug has shown real promise in a large phase three clinical trial. So we're going to bring in our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy. And Dr. Nandy, I know you've talked to us a lot about sleep apnea. How will this drug possibly help? Yeah, I have sleep apnea, so All I'm right. excited about it. Right? Yes. I use a CPAP machine every night. The CPAP covers your nose or both your nose and mouth. It gently pushes air through your airway to help keep it open. It helps, but it, I'll be honest, it's not always easy, right? So I've been really interested in the results of this new drug. So this new medication is called AD109. In this study, patients who took the pill Glenda, once a day saw a nearly 50% reduction in the severity of their sleep apnea after 26 weeks, and that's compared to less than 7% of the placebo uh, group that didn't get this. And by the end of the year, uh, about 23% of participants had complete control of their condition, which is great. And to me, it's a big deal. What happens with sleep apnea is this, that your airways keep narrowing or closing off, usually because the throat muscles relax too much, and that can cause your breathing to repeatedly stop. Oxygen levels drop. It leads to poor sleep, loud snoring, feeling tired all the time. Let me tell you, I've, I've been there. And this new pill is a combination of two medicines, atomics, Atomic satine uh, boosts the nerve signals that control the area muscles, and uh, aroxybutynin helps keep those muscles from relaxing too much. Together, they can keep the airway open, which is great. So, the company planning to apply for FDA approval. Uh, for right now, what are some of the current treatments? Yeah, so yeah. the good news is this, right? Side effect wise, AD109 was well tolerated in the trials. There were no serious concerns, and the most uh, common side effects were mild or moderate things like dry mouth, trouble sleeping, and some nausea based on the results. The company says it plans to submit the drug uh, to the FDA in early 2026, which is exciting. As for other treatments, you know, the standard treatment I've mentioned, right, is a CPAP machine. It works, but it's, it's a mask connected to a machine and a lot of people, right, a lot of my patients, it's very difficult to use every night. There are also oral appliances that you wear while you sleep and surgeries to remove excess tissue from the throat. There's even a small implant that sends signals to the, the nerve to move the tongue forward while you sleep. Also, the FDA has now approved a drug called Zepbound that's only for people who have both sleep apnea and obesity. And many of these options right, are complicated and invasive, and that's why a simple pill could make a huge difference and potentially help a ton of people finally get the restful sleep we all need. You know, we think about this as snoring, but it's a big problem. It can be a silent cause of heart attack, strokes. So for people who are watching, sleep, uh, sleep apnea is a big deal. And for now, use your CPAP machine if that's what's prescribed. This, this pill hopefully will come along, come along and give us another option. Would you take it? I think I would if it's okay. safe. Absolutely, man. Because, right. you know, it works, but it's kind of a pain. Yeah, I can imagine. <laughs> and I look like Darth Vader yeah. and my kids go, ah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right, Doc. Thanks so much. It's my pleasure. If you have a health question for the good doctor, you can email him, Dr. Nandy at AskDrNandy.com or send it to us. Facebook X will get it right to him.